Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to create a schema or database in MySQL or MariaDB. This is a development tutorial. We are going to learn a lot of development topics in this tutorial. So um, I'm going to use a MySQL Workbench to run my queries and all that because it's easy instead of I run in a MySQL command line. So um, you can down, go ahead and download MySQL Workbench or even Heidi SQL and then connect to the MySQL server. I have all these videos in the series you can watch those how to download HiD SQL or uh, MySQL Workbench and uh, then connect to the MySQL or MariaDB. Here uh, we are going to open a new query to create our database or a schema. You will be saying create schema and then uh, providing the name of it. Uh, in my case, let's say if I would like to do the database one, I can do that. I can uh, write another way called the create database and the DB2. These are both statements are the same statements. Um, the people who are uh, very much familiar with the Microsoft uh, My, uh, SQL Server, they will say create database. Um, and the people who are working with Oracle or MySQL, they will be saying schema. But the, it's going to create the same object. You call it schema or database, uh, which will hold our tables, views, store procedures, and other objects. Um, OK, so we can go ahead and run it. And it should create. Uh, some new schemas for us. So you can see right here, DB1 and DB2 is created. You can refresh this button and see the schemas here. Okay. Now, what is the max length of the name of the database or schema? You can have it. That's a 64 characters. Okay. And you can use a different characters in that. Let's say if I will say create schema, I would like to say DB. Uh, you already have seen I have used the numbers here. You can use uh, maybe a dollar sign here and say DB123 or uh, whatever you want to call it. Maybe DB, DB. Just um, I'm giving you an example. Uh, so if you will run this script, it's going to be just uh, fine. Uh, OK, there are certain things uh, we need to um, uh, keep in mind uh, in cases uh, where you will say create uh, database or schema and you will provide some space in that. Uh, let's say if I would like to say tech and uh, BRO. OK, so in this case, if I will try to run this uh, script, it is going to fail. So because there is a space between uh, these uh, uh, characters. Uh, so if you have space, you would like to have space in the name of the database or schema. What you have to do, you have to use the acute uh, uh, character uh, on the both sides. So, so where exactly is the acute character? That's uh, on the keyboard where you have tilde. So you will just uh, pr press that on the both sides and it will put this uh, acute uh, character and uh, that's all you have now go ahead and create a database or schema it will run it refresh it and you can see that uh, tech pro database or schema is uh, created uh, I don't really recommend having spaces between the names of the database or schema or even objects such as store procedure or tables because then every time you have to use them, you have to put this acute sign around it or symbol around it. If you don't have it, you can simply say that, okay, you know, whatever you want to use. Let's say if I would like to say use database one, I will simply say use database one, right? And change it, okay? Now you can see that our current schema is. Uh, uh, DB1 uh, right here. Okay. Now, in this case, uh, uh, if you would like to use the uh, Tech Brother, Tech Bro, what you have to do, you have to put uh, these uh, acute uh, uh, characters around it. Uh, okay. So, in the development, uh, you will always see that like you have to have these uh, acute uh, uh, characters around your object's name. I don't recommend that again. I always uh, uh, like to not have spaces uh, between the object uh, in, in the object names. Okay, all right. Now, uh, enough uh, <laughs> with the creating the database and schema. What we are going to do next is the drop in. So, same thing drop schema and schema name. In our case, if I would like to drop a DB1, it will uh, drop it. OK, now you can go and refresh the list and the DB1 has gone. If you would like to drop this uh, tech bro uh, database or schema, you simply have to copy and paste here. And uh, remember, you have to have these acute uh, characters around your name as uh, we have space in the name of the database or schema. So we'll say, let me, instead of saying schema this time, I will say create the drop database. Uh, it's the same thing. OK, so the statement is completed and you can refresh. You see, you can see that the tech bro database or schema has gone. All right. Thank you very much for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next video.